Hello, I'm Lucinda from Acuity Training. I'm going to show you what the to-do bar is in Outlook 2010. Let's go into Outlook first. The to-do bar we can actually see on the right hand side of this screen here. However, it may not be there when you first turn on your Outlook screen. To turn this on, if necessary, you would go to the View ribbon, across to the Layout group, and here we find the To Do Bar button. It's currently on Normal. We can have it on Minimised, like this, and we're going to have it switched off. Let's turn it back on again to Normal, and there it is. We can also turn off the Date Navigator, this area here, which allows us to get into the calendar instantaneously by clicking on a date, as you can see there. We can also turn on and off the appointments area within the middle, which shows us upcoming appointments. If I just turn that back on again, you'll see that area there. Currently, there are no upcoming appointments. I'll show you that working later. We can also turn off the task list at the bottom which leaves a small room now for appointments. So it is customizable if you want it to be. Let's turn it back on again. So the to-do bar basically has three different areas, a date navigator, an area for upcoming appointments, and an area for to-do lists. As you saw, it's a very quick way of moving around the calendar so we can get to next month very easily we can click on the 12th of December and it instantly takes us to that day in the diary, in the calendar, where we could type an appointment in. Let's type an appointment in for tomorrow, November the 14th. If we click now into the calendar and type an appointment in, IT training course, which starts at 8 and then we'll pull the appointment down to 2 o'clock. As you can see instantly this appointment now appears as an upcoming appointment. Let's do one for the 28th of November. Let's have a Word course, Word Advanced course starting at 10 and finishing at 5 and as you can see this is now an upcoming appointment. So it's a very useful area to use in Outlook so we can get to our calendar entries easily and we can also see upcoming appointments. Notice the two appointments are now shown in bold on the date navigator there. The task list is another very useful area. Any tasks that we add, let's add a task for example, so into tasks I tend to double click to add a task, create word training manuals, save and close, there's no date on it which is why the flag says no date, create word training manual. So any tasks you create appear in the task list. Not only that, anything you flag, whether it's an email or a contact, they will also appear in the to-do list. Let's have a look. If we take this email here, the test email, and if we produce a follow-up flag on it for tomorrow, watch what happens in the to-do list here. There is now a tomorrow flag for the test email. We can do this with a contact as well. If I click on contacts, there's my contact. I can flag that contact up for this week to remind me to call or email or do something with that contact. If I click on this week now, Lucinda's contact is now in my to-do list for this week. This is how we can use the to-do bar in Outlook 2010. Thanks for listening.